In this video, we're gonna be talking about CarPro Iron X. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business, or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So right now I'm on location and I just finished washing the outside of the small SUV Lexus and I did the tires, the wheels, the wheel wells. We've got all the paint and the glass cleaned, the roof cleaned, and now we are going to be using a little bit of Iron X because in this case I'm actually applying a sealant to this car and so we're kind of going into the winter with this car and that's why we're sealing it and uh, we want to make sure that we get the longest kind of lifespan out of the paint as we can and so because I'm using a sealant I am going to use Iron X also to review the product to show you guys what it is but also just because we're applying a sealant we want a bare kind of canvas uh, in regard to the paint before we actually start so let's go ahead and read the manufacturer's directions of this bottle before I do just want to explain kind of what Iron X is it is a chemical kind of clay barring product that's not exactly what it is. Maybe some of the detailers are going to rip me apart because I say that, but that's just kind of like gives you an idea of what it is. Basically, the idea of the product is that rather than maybe using a clay bar or something, you can actually remove that 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 rail dust and those contaminants that are kind of embedded in the clear coat with this product. Now, this is not a clay bar replacement. A lot of times people will use this product before or after a clay bar. A lot of times I like to use it after a clay bar because I just like to see maybe what the clay bar did not actually pick up. So while it's not a clay bar replacement, it is kind of the idea of a chemical clay bar. That's probably an easiest way to think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and read the directions for you and you guys can see what we're supposed to do. So it says this is for car paint, wheels, and glass. It's safe, uh, neutral pH. And the directions say, number one, wash the surface. Number two, shake the bottle well. Number three, spray on. Wait three to five minutes while the contaminants change uh, color to purple red. So when you spray this on, what you want to do is wait until the chemical actually turns kind of like a violet or like a maroonish color. Um, and then that's how you know that it's kind of picking up those iron contaminants or that rail dust. It's kind of like hydrogen peroxide. You know, you see it bubbling up. That's kind of a visual indicator that this product is working. And then it says number four, rub in with a damp, soft sponge. Avoid drying under direct sun. And then number five, rinse well with water. So what I'm going to do in this case is spray the Iron X on. Now, yes, I'm working in the direct sunlight, but once I actually just pulled this car out from under a carport, so the car paint uh, surface is still very uh, cool. And I'm going to apply this really quickly, wait, th wait three to five minutes and let it kind of do its thing. I'm going to do just what the directions say. I'm going to kind of rub it in with a damp towel. I'm going to put some optimum no rinse on a microfiber towel, rub it in, and I'm going to wash it all off pull it back into the carport and dry it off, and we can come in and see the uh, finished result after I did that. So let's go ahead and apply this product, and you guys can see how it works. So before I actually start wiping it in with my optimum no rinse kind of solution on my microfiber towel, I just want you guys to get a good picture of what this looks like. So you guys can see it's turning that like purpley red color. Just like I said, that's a visual indicator that it's actually working. It's kind of like a litmus test when you stick a litmus, you know, strip in acid, it turns a certain color. When you stick it in a base, it turns a certain color. You have this visual kind of indicator that this stuff is actually working. So it's actually very cool. I like products like this where you can actually see the progress of what's happening. Happening. I'll go ahead and go around the whole car so you guys can see how it's kind of running down picking up those contaminants just by the chemical I'm not agitating anything you guys can see the streaks from gravity taking the chemical down the paint there you go so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my optimum no rinse uh, solution on my microfiber towel and rub it in and then hose it off So I just brought it inside, dried it off, and I want to show you guys a couple really important things. Number one, what I did before I did the Iron X 
All I did was clean the wheels, the tires, the wheel wells like I normally do, and then I washed the paint, okay? So I cleaned the surface dirt off. I did not clay, and I did not wash the bugs off. I did that on purpose because I wanted you guys to see the nature of what Iron X does. Number one, let's look at the area where the bugs are normally crazy, right here. You guys can see, there is practically nothing left here. There's like one tiny spot there, tiny spot underneath there. Bugs totally gone. What's another area where the bugs are all over? The windows. Now I know this is in the shade and so it tends to flatter things, but I'm telling you from a guy looking at the window in person, the window was horrific before I actually started with the Iron X. I wiped the surface dirt off, but there was bugs everywhere. You guys can see, I don't even see like one single bug. Okay, I see something tiny right there. That's on the inside. That's on the inside. You guys get the point I'm making. The bugs on the windshield just kind of melt off with this product. Here's the other side view mirror. You guys can see white as an eggshell. There's a few spots here and there, but those are gonna wipe off real easy with the clay bar. You get the point. Let's look at the front here. I did not do any bug treatment whatsoever. Are there a few bugs? Yeah, there's a little spot right there, spot right there. Spot right there, some of that's probably gonna be chips. You guys can see there's a little cluster of bugs right there. But by and large, you guys are getting the point I'm making. The product melts away all of that stuff on purpose. I mean, that's kind of the point of the product. It melts away those things that the clay bar doesn't pick up. But what's really amazing to me is that it can really debug it at this level and still not hurt the paint. Now, other than just totally removing all those bugs and at least at like a 90% level, what else is Iron X really amazing for? Well, in these areas right here, when you wash, there tends to collect, you know, dirt all up in here, right here on these little panelings that they put to make the car look a little cooler. Um, there's just different areas where dirt really starts to collect a lot of times on these emblems. Dirt collects all in there, but you guys can see, clean as a whistle down here. There's no collected dirt in these areas, no collected dirt in these door handles. Why is that? Because the Iron X, because it's a liquid, it has the capability to get into all those areas that rags, brushes, all that stuff can't get into, and it just melts all of that stuff away. And so another really good application for Iron X is going to be not just necessarily using this on the entire paint like I just did, but also using it on these tiny, tiny specific areas when you finish washing to bring that much more of a level 10 service. You can spray it right here, spray it on the front. You get the point I'm making. You don't necessarily have to use this every time. You could use it in specific areas that are difficult to get clean that start to just cut your time in half. So if you guys would like to get your hands on this product, which is something I definitely suggest doing, especially for those who are more intermediate, advanced in the detailing world, you're offering more services. It's a really good product to have in your arsenal for certain cases. I'm gonna hook up a link, an Amazon link below this video to this product in the description box below. If you wanna buy it and you use my Amazon on links. It does give this channel a small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can keep giving out awesome content just like this all the time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those, and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And I share the same strategies that turn my business into a full-time income with part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. Once again, thank you guys so much for being involved here. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.